truffles are these underground fungi that are producing aroma and attracting wildlife to eat them and then spread their spores. So they're basically the underground version of a mushroom. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we have hundreds of truffle species and only a couple of those are valued for culinary reasons. We know um, less about truffles compared to many of the above ground fungi because truffles are really hard to find um, because they're basically invisible unless you know the signs of where to look for truffles or unless you have a great nose like wild animals do um, and like dogs. So I use my truffle dog uh, to find these little hidden treasures underground and learn more about them. What I'm hoping to do is, uh, you know, bring more knowledge about the truffles in our area, in particular in this understudied habitat, which is uh, oak savanna. So the indigenous peoples have burned here for millennia, keeping these spaces open. And then when that stopped, you know, these forests, these, these Douglas fir trees are basically just living on the edge and not able to handle regular burning, kind of came in. And once Doug fir comes into oak habitat, they grow tall, they shade out the oaks, and the oaks die. So in that sense, oak has a very hard time competing with Douglas fir. Pretty much all plants you see have some kind of fungal symbiont living either on their roots or in their roots. If the tree was not there, the truffle would not be there either. When a fire comes through a conifer forest, like we're seeing a lot of these days with these expanding mega fires, there's a lot of organic layer for the fire to burn up, so things often get quite hot. Oak habitat has, you know, historically experienced fire on a very regular basis. And when the system experiences a regular fire, the fire is not going to be as hot. The combination of fire suppression and fuels build up along with climate change just producing these really hot and dry conditions is going to be quite challenging um, to determine how we're, how we're going to focus fungal conservation efforts but just conservation efforts in general. And so this is a really critical moment where we need to figure out what's there before we lose it. <laughs>